when you use atmospheric digital decorations in multiple windows for Halloween, it usually looks something like this. Ghosts randomly fly through the windows and it can often happen that the same ghost appears in two different places at the same time. Music and songs interfere with each other and much more. But what if you could have a customized show where a ghost simply flies from one window to another without much effort for you? So no programming, no video editing or annoying IP address setup. With this thought in mind, I started developing a tool in my free time two years ago that makes exactly this possible, the digital decoration player. My name is Timo Fischer and I will show you how to create your own customized Halloween show in a few minutes. So let's stay tuned. We start in front of your house and create a rough sketch of the windows you want to use. We also directly draw the path, how the ghosts are allowed to switch between the windows later. Next, we measure the windows and the distance between them. Now we have all important information, so we can buy our projection material, projectors and PCs in the correct size and quantity. I already have everything here, so we can start creating the show right away. Let's continue on the website digitaldecorationplayer.com. You can set up the show from any device, so it doesn't matter if you use a PC, laptop, tablet or your phone. The important thing is that you have your AtmosFX videos on this device. To use the tool, we need an account on the website. Then we go to Toolbench. Here we find the Digital Decoration Player tool and start it. Before we can create our first show, we need to tell the tool which videos we own. This is done in the Media Pool section. Simply click on Select Files and then select your Atmos FX videos. In the list below you can see which videos you have already unlocked. Unfortunately, streaming videos on the internet is not for free. To fairly distribute the cost, the tool works like a prepaid phone. You load the streaming contingent and then use it per running window or projector. With the code test phase, you get a free trial contingent. If you're satisfied with the software results, you can easily top up your contingent. We have now taught the tool which videos we have and added the trial hours. Let's continue with creating the show. To do this we click on create new show and give our show a name. Then we open the show setting with configuration. We start again with the media pool. Here we can now select which of the verified videos we want to use in the show. We confirm everything with save. Now we start creating the individual windows. Clicking on add another player opens a form. In this form we specify the size of the window and can make further settings such as choosing a specific overlay, indicating whether the projector is in front of or behind the window and specifying if it's orientated horizontally or vertically. To keep the windows well organized, I recommend specifying the windows in order from left to right and top to bottom. Once we have added all the windows, we open the advanced settings for each window and specify where the ghost should appear next, for example, if a ghost exits on the right side of the window. We need to add these settings for each window separately, so the ghost can also move from one window back to its original place. You have finished setting up your show. To prepare the windows we attach the projection material, position the speakers, place the projector on the tripod and connect the PC. I use small refurbished mini PCs along with the Chrome browser which can be purchased for as little as 60 bucks. If you have a laptop, you can of course use it. 
The important thing is that the device must be able to open up the dd-player.com website. Finally, standing in front of the house, we see a code displayed in each window. You can now open the digital decoration player tool on your phone. By using the connect player button, we assign each window to its player. The show will start within the next 30 seconds. With the remote control, you can manage the show from outside at any time, adjusting window volumes, changing overlays or modifying other settings during operation. While developing the tool in the past two years, I used early versions of it at my place on Halloween. The tool is now officially available as an open beater. I've invested a lot of my free time in this project and I want to highlight that it started and still is a personal project. I would greatly appreciate if you test the tool to get your feedback, so we continue to improve it together. Have fun creating your show. If you have any further question, I'm of course happy to assist. Get ready to bring your Halloween decorations to life like never before with the digital decoration player. Let's make this Halloween unforgettable together.